So we get asked crazy questions all the time about what it's like to live here in Florida. And we're gonna tell you about some of the things that we love and, and hate. hate. I'm Lisa Carroll. And I'm Maria Nager. We are realtors here in the Tampa area with Mahara Associates Tampa Team TLC. So today we are going to talk to you about some of the questions that people ask us all the time when they're thinking about making the move to Florida. There's things that we love and mm -hmm. things that we hate. So For sure. <laughs> Starting with the, the whole thing about the seasons and weather. One thing that I hate is I miss the change of seasons. I miss the fall. Right. Like that's why I bought a cabin in Georgia, right? right. So I can like, see the, the change, change. And, and a little bit of snow sure. here, here and there, even sure. though I don't know that I miss the snow. No. But so no. one thing that some people dislike is that you don't have that change. But to tell you the truth, when you look at the red maples right. and some of the trees that do change leaves we here in Florida, get a little bit you of have a season. You have some colors on the leaves right. and they drop their leaves. Yes. So it does feel like fall. Yes. But what else about the seasons that we're often asked? So first of all, they complain, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> well, you go from an air conditioned house to an air conditioned car to an air conditioned store. <laughs> and I would much rather do that than to have to put on my scarf and my boots and my jacket and my hat, and my gloves, and go out and de-ice my car and shovel the <laughs> snow it. off yeah. of it to have to go to the grocery store. So <laughs> right. I say suck it up, deal with the heat. Because we do get cool seasons, like you just said. We get a little bit of a change. We do get a, a cold snap. Yeah. Pretty much around what, December, January? Mm -hmm. Into uh, February. Into February, yes, yeah. December, January, February. So the low in the evenings could maybe go to about 30. Yeah, we don't get too much of real freeze, freeze. Right. We get a freeze warning here and there. Right. Where Occasional. they'll say, oh, it's going to freeze tonight, and then you have to go cover your plants, which we're going right. to talk about in a minute. Right. But it's really beautiful during the day. Still, it's usually right. still like 50s, sunny 50s. And, and like 50s, yeah. you know. Well, let me tell you, when it's 70 degrees here, everybody's thrilled they can put on their boots. <laughs> And they could put on their jackets right. and their sweatshirts and sweatpants and sweaters. So 70 degrees here. You're coming, you're putting on shorts and a tank top. We live here, we're putting on sweatpants, sweaters, and, and jackets. So right. and we're we both, like to change. We're both from up north, Michigan and, and if you can't in New York. Yeah, right. Well, with her, you can tell <laughs> for sure. But I've been here since high school. So but right, you know, right. but we do. We like as soon as it gets below, you know, in the 70s yes. or below, we're gonna dress like it's uh, the winter. We love it. <laughs> because that's what it. winter is is like here right absolutely so most of us don't own, own heavy jackets and boots you don't really need them i have closets full still because of from up north yeah so you know you really don't can get them. around people from up north will be in their shorts and t-shirts a big part of the year yes. for sure yes so most of the time here it's beautiful however the summer months being that it is so hot and humid we do get a lot of rain believe it or not in the summer and we get those spurts, like we get an afternoon shower, and it could last for an hour or two. Mm -hmm. Would you say? So it just—it's an afternoon yeah. uh, I'm storm. That. It's beautiful. A lot of times it could be sunny, or it could be some thunder, True. and, and yeah. you know, it's—it's it's really yeah. pretty. It cools everything down a little bit. It does right. make it a little muggy. Yes. So you do get a little bit of humidity. Yes. yes. So it is a little. And the lightning. Stuffy. Oh, the lightning. Yeah. I forgot about that too. Yeah. So when the lightning cracks and the uh, and the thunder rolls, wow! You've never felt anything like. I mean, the whole house was shaking. Sometimes when I first moved down here, I was like, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, so let's talk about hurricanes. True. So people True. are afraid to come to Florida yep. or a, an area that's surrounded by water because of hurricanes True. and they're really nervous about it. Right. So I've been here since the not early 90s or the late 80s, sorry. Gosh, I forgot how old I was <laughs> since the late 80s. <laughs> and I've, I've never really had to evacuate for a no. hurricane because our area, the greater Tampa right. area has just, you know, knock on wood. Right. Then not right. a, a and direct I, hit. I think it's because the way we are, we're like in the, you know, that little nestled in. Mm -hmm. So the the tornado or tornado, the <laughs> hurricane usually does not hit directly yeah. to Tampa. It'll go up in the Panhandle or it'll go up to down to Miami. But typically, we do not get hit with uh, surges and stuff like that. But we can lose power. Yeah. So depending though where you live in the yeah. greater Tampa area, you could be in an evacuation zone True. because of flooding. Right. So the areas out in the Land Lakes, Wesley Chapel, and parts yeah. of Tampa, you don't have to because you're more inland. But if you do live along the coastline, you could be in an evacuation Clear zone. Clearwater. Where they want areas. you to leave because mainly because of flooding right. risks. Right. And um, the good thing is you always know when's coming. Right. If you, you want to prepare, you can prepare. 
prepared to stay put and right. be safe, or you can hit the road, right. head up north for a while, and go do something else for a yeah. couple days. Um, people make their own decisions on what they want to do, but a lot of right. people do have generators here. That's what I was saying. It's a big plus. Some people have, yeah, the built-in generators. Right. So your whole house can run and no problem. But after a while, you get you kind of get used to we've it. We've hardly had any issues, like you said. It's yeah. just been rare that we've ever really, you know, suffered. Um, maybe we lose some power. Some areas have lost power for you know a couple of days, maybe a week. But for the most part, we don't really suffer much damage. Right. So, so far, we've we've been good. Not yeah. what again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty much about the weather. Um, landscaping, grass, whole nother story. Uh, again, I'm from the north, grew up on Long Island, so we had that nice, soft, fluffy grass you can run around barefoot in. Not going to do that here. Um, <laughs> I, I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me so much, but I know that it feels crunchy. It's, it's a weed that grows here. It is a weed, and it is a thick blade of grass, and it's very thick grass, and it is crunchy, and critters kind of hang out in it, too. So, um, but, so you... You're more or less going to mow your lawn about 10 months out of the year because during the winter months, again, it pretty much goes dormant and you don't have to mow it because it's not growing. Um, but you do have to, you know, keep up with your landscaping. In the fall, that's usually when we do the trim, tr uh, tree trimmings and stuff mm -hmm. like that, cut back your trees and things. Um, you re-mulch, re you do that in the spring. But you don't have to shovel. Yeah, no. <laughs> no shoveling snow. No. We, we get snow very rarely, once in a while, just a couple little flakes. Have you ever seen it? Are you crazy? No, we do. I've seen it twice. I've been I've been here that long that I've seen it. I have never. No, okay, I've twice. never seen a flake yet, but she yeah. says uh, in Pensacola I did. So it doesn't I stick to see. the ground, but it, it's yeah. fallen a couple times in, in throughout hysterical. the many years. But yeah, you don't have to shovel any snow, and your landscaping and gardening right. is fun and right. easy, especially because there are so many landscape companies that you can hire right. that will do your whole yard, including your bushes and everything, right. the tree for less than $100 a, a month. Right. If you don't want to do it and you just want a beautiful surrounding, you can yeah. you can hire people here. That's it's easy. real easy to do. Definitely. I yeah. I don't we don't nobody in my house does it. So it's just too much work. It's too hot. You know, and they do everything. They edge, they weed whack, right? They blow. Oh yeah, they so, blow and they And they're in and out. Yeah. Every week they come in and out, once a week. Yeah. So uh and plants. We so real quick we touched on plants earlier. Um, talking about when we do get those frosts. Yeah. That there are certain trees and, and bushes and plants because we more or less they're tropical, I guess you would say. Yeah, so some of them you have to cover if it's a, one of the rare frosts, but most right. of our plants will last, will live all year. They yeah. don't die like up north where right. you have to have certain kind of plants or you have to replant. You, you can yeah. just plant your. If you like gardening, I mean, you can do the. What, Pretty I much year confused. round. Perennials? Yeah, and annuals and all that Annual. stuff. Yeah. I always get them confused. Which you can do everything here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can you, do everything here. You can grow vegetables. The bugs yeah. can be a little bit of a problem here with your gardening. Right. Be, and the heat can be a little bit of a problem. So you have to change your the when you plant some things if you're vegetable and fruit gardening. Okay. Because I've done it. Well, that's and the, yeah. Know. So the heat can kill your tomatoes in the summer. You have that to do it sense. at different times, and then you get a lot of bugs. So if you don't want to use chemicals. Yeah. You have to just be careful of the seasons a little bit. Yeah. We but do have can... strawberry and blueberry picking now. Yeah, you do right? have that. Yeah. So, yeah, we do have that, too, if you like to go fruit picking. So, Maria wanted to address the, the bugs because we do get asked a lot about bugs here. And we're famous bugs. for what's called love bugs, if you've never heard of them. Yeah, which they're are a teeny little bug, and they're mating, basically. Well, they look like they're mating. I don't know if they really are, but yeah, they fly they're around. True. They float through the air. They're little. They come two times a year, pretty much, May and September. And they ruin your car. Every time. If you have a white car, especially, or a white house, it will be covered in, in the love bugs. And if you drive down the highways <laughs> and you get out of your car and you look at the front of your car, and it looks like you have a black net on the front of your car. <laughs> That's love you bugs. You need to wash them off immediately. Because if you don't, they will destroy your paint. They so will. You, so two times a year we have that, and it lasts, what, two weeks or so? A couple weeks. They're, like a, pain, weeks they're a pain, but it's really just keeping up with your yeah. car. More than They're anything. harmless. They don't bother you. I mean, you know, they land on you. They just, you know, they don't sting you, bite you, nothing. You don't even feel them. But, um, <laughs> but love yeah. bugs. Those are love, love bugs. <laughs> so other than that, we also have oh. palmetto bugs. 
I comb cockroaches where I come from, okay? <laughs> they are. I'm from the north, we comb cockroaches. And yeah. I don't care what you want to call them, but they're the big nasty and they fly. I never knew they flew, <laughs> but they fly. So the good thing is we have great pest control companies yes, here. Yes, you have it's, to have a pest control company. So you have company. to have a pest control company in your home. Yes. Mine comes once a year. I pay them 300 yep. and something dollars. They yep. do the whole house and we don't right. see a bug in the house. And if you do, the whole you call year, them right away. they come away. for free. They come right back. <laughs> So yep. they address that issue, but yeah, if you don't, if you don't, uh, so we don't see cockroaches or palmetto bugs mm -hmm. in our home, but nope. I've been in houses that we've sold where I've seen some because someone isn't keeping up with that right. maintenance. It's something right. you just have to keep up with. You don't yeah. see them out when you're out in the yard. You don't see them when you're no. out anywhere in, in the like public. You don't see no. them. It's not more in, in houses that are not up kept. Yeah. I, I, yeah, if dirty. Yeah. Sometimes. Or just, yeah, if you just don't use pesticides, I right. guess, really, they just get in. Yeah. Um, the other thing you have to be very careful of is red ants. Some people are actually highly allergic yes. to red ants and will need an anaphylactic pen. Yeah, it's Some like a carry yeah. that with yeah. them. Uh, those you'll see a sand pile, and they typically uh, seem to fester, especially when it rains. If you've noticed, you'll but see like you'll a little, see yeah, ant, ant uh, <laughs> sand piles. Yeah, yeah. ant And if you step in one of those and you are either barefoot or even if you have a shoe on, they'll crawl. You up. won't notice <laughs> it, and all of a sudden you'll be like, "Ow!" And you look down, and your foot is covered mm -hmm. like chocolate sprinkles on an ice cream cone. <laughs> That's what they. <laughs> that is what they look like. Thought of that. But yes, <laughs> that is what they look like, yeah. and they bite. And when they bite, it it hurts, but then later it itches like crazy like the worst mosquito bites you have ever gotten which we have mosquitoes yeah. of course like everywhere else yeah yeah but, we do but but they do have the spray trucks yeah they, they, they come keep, around they, they spray for the control. mosquitoes so mm -hmm. it's not I mean, and i think that's a little season seasonal too right not terrible um which brings you to pools because pools were asked about a lot as well right and yeah. and why we screen the pools and that's a good reason why we screen our pools bugs. here is bugs. Love bugs, uh, bees, wasps. And maintenance, and it, because it's open yep. all year. Your pool right. here is never closed. No. Maria was reminding me, because she's, you know, was up north more yep. recently than I was, yep. that up there you have to close down your pool. It, 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 yeah. I mean, it's such a waste. You open your pool Labor Day and you shut it, or is it the opposite? Memorial Day and you shut it Labor Day. So three months out of the year, you maybe get to use your pool, if you're lucky, by the time it heats up. So here, we have heaters, typically. I mean, you don't have to have one, but a lot of people have heaters in their pools, so you can use your pool year round. And again, like Lisa said, the screen helps you lean, uh, alleviate having to pull all the leaves out of it and skim it and all. Just keeps the pool nice and clean. You can go out there all the time, no bugs. No, you can go out at night, sit out there, have a glass of wine or something, not be bit up by mosquitoes. And, and, and it protects and, you a little bit yeah. from the sun too. Yes, I, I'm it does very fierce. Yeah, I'm fierce again. Section. So if I'm out in yep. the open, I have to slather on the sunscreen, or else I'm going to be red. Actually, but when I'm under the under the screen, I don't have that much. Of a problem. Actually, my son and I, especially, we like to sit outside the screen when we want to get a tan. Because so, you don't because get, you that won't much get a tan under. in the screen. Yeah, I mean, you do, but not as you have to really sit under there for a while. Yeah, so it, so it, protects, it protects you. you. Yeah, yep. that's that's a nice yes. thing about. Now, the some people do like to have screens, but you don't have to. Now, I guess though the only thing you have to make sure is if you don't have a screen, you have to have a fence. Yeah, you have to have a fence for safety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, and then also what they also do too here is um, because your, you know, your pool's right outside your patio, and then you, maybe you have the screen on it or not, but you do have to have a child safety fence too, unless you have alarms on all your doors. It's something that you have to have when for you install the pool to pass codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just another little thought um, about pools. Yeah, and then one of the big things we're asked a lot is about wildlife. Yeah. Because a lot of people are afraid okay. of yes. alligators. alligators. So we're, we're often asked about All alligators. And I live in a community that is very, very full of nature. And I live on a lake. Well, we and live in Lando Lakes. <laughs> we live in Lando Lakes. <laughs> and Plenty of lakes. <laughs> during the mating season, we'll hear a lot of gators making yeah. their... Yeah, they're croaking. croaking. Uh, uh, I thought it was a frog. Yeah, it's it gators. Like a frog. So, like right now, we don't see any gators out. I don't see any no. when I walk, but I don't see I any. I honestly rarely see a gator. And if you do, you're not seeing a 14 foot one. I mean, you might see a little two, three, four foot, maybe, typically, I think. Matter of fact, I had one in front of my garage door uh, about four Jeez. years ago. Not even kidding. My daughter called me up, Mom, I can't get in the house. I said, What do you mean you can't get in the house? I can't open the garage door. I said, Well, why can't you open the garage door? Because there's an alligator in front of it. <laughs> Not even kidding. Yeah, oh I walked goodness. out. There he was. He was probably about the length of his table. Oh, my goodness. Maybe a little less. But, yeah, I mean, and there were some maintenance workers around, so they shoot him away, and he left. Typically, they're not going to bother you if you don't bother them. 
But don't be creeping up on them wanting to get a close-up photo because that's just not the smart <laughs> thing to do. Don't walk your dog right next no. to the pond if you're, you know. Definitely don't walk your little yeah. six-pound puppy yeah. next to the lake on a leash because there have been few that, that have been out. snatched. Yeah, because you can't sure. see them if they're under the water. You just have to just, nope. you learn it to be careful. But yeah, you don't see them much. Right. I've lived on this lake for a long time. We've never really seen right. one in our yard. Very few. You know, I hear them out, out in the lake certain times of the year, but you really yeah. don't see that much. And when it's wintertime, right. I guess they go, they hide somewhere. And They're yeah. not around. And again, right and just in case you didn't know, but they can climb fences. <laughs> yeah, you told me that. Yeah, they can. So. You can Google, you'll see a video of a... <laughs> Of a gator climbing so, right up over a fence. I kid you not. Once I was in like, a while, people will find them in their pools that are not caged. That are not caged. Yeah. <laughs> so Rare. You'll, so you'll see videos once so in a while. So be careful if you night swimming. <laughs> people, yeah. <laughs> I remember when my parents had a pool when I was young, there would be snakes once in a while in the pool. Right. And like you said, there's not but that many poisonous. And they're garden snakes. There's usually, usually garden snakes. Usually. We do have some. Black ones. Some poisonous snakes, but we don't see a heck of a lot of them around. Right. We have water moccasins here. Right. I've seen two. I've lived here for seven or eight years. I've seen two total right. here where yeah. pe or people in the neighborhood take a picture of one and yeah. ask what it is yeah but we don't see a lot of snakes yeah. um that's real rare yeah i think that we could oh oh uh so we do have deer all the time oh we have deer all the time and they're beautiful they are they're so pretty to watch but you do have to be careful mm -hmm. because some of the roads around here if it's a winding road a back road you know kind of country road even some of the highways highway 54 they're just all congregating on the side at night eating and you never know one's gonna just decide to cross the street oh so speaking of that what? Okay, we almost forgot what the sandhill cranes oh the, we did the deer crossing the street the sandhill cranes the deer cross the street but the sandhill cranes hold up traffic they do so they're protected <laughs> first of all so they're they a might pack of lunch because they yeah. they walk so <laughs> slow across the street they forget they have wings it, and then when they do fly, they look like pterodactyls, and, <laughs> and they, they sound them. like them yeah, too. They do. And if they drop droppings, <laughs> I heard one the other day. I came out and hit the. It was like, boom, boom, boom. and I was like, oh my god, what was that? I look. I mean, they're huge. all over the car. Oh, it's just nasty. So it that's the nasty. truth about coming to Florida. Yeah. Sandhill cranes are and beautiful. they mate for life. They do. They stay. They they mate for life, and they have one one baby. I think. Well, and then if they if one gets killed, then he's a widow or widower <laughs> forever. It's yep. sad. Yeah, yeah, but they're beautiful. They are, but they, so they do hold up traffic a lot in the area. Yeah, yeah they do. You turtles, turtles, turtles and gophers. Too. So something to know about turtles. Uh, and there are certain areas, I think, that are a little more prominent for gopher turtles. They are protected as well. So if you buy a piece of land and there are turtles on that land, you cannot go over and say, oh, come on, Mr. Turtle, we're going to replace you into a nice lot across the street. You can get fined heavily for that. They are protected. So you have to... Um, file a, a claim oh, I don't know what's the word I'm trying to find you get a permit or something yeah, permit to, to, so you yeah. have to get a permit and a reason you have to have a reason like you're building a home mm -hmm. on that lot you mm -hmm. have to have a reason to move that turtle otherwise you have a free tenant <laughs> he's freeloading on you that's it they dig a little hole down in the, under, they dig and they holes live, they, yep, down and they burrow there. down under there so yeah you have to watch for turtles and you get you know you see them all the time in the road too you gotta be very careful you don't want to run one of those over right it's kind of right. nasty and then you've seen a bobcat here or I've, there. Seen I've, bobcat seen, personally. I've seen one too walking on the yeah. fence behind my house so i was washing dishes one day and i looked out the window and i went oh that's a that's a that's a big cat <laughs> and he had pointy pointy yeah. ears and i was like hey honey <laughs> Is that, a, is that somebody's cat out back? And he was like, oh my God, that's Big. a bobcat. Yeah. And it was. And I mean, he didn't bother nobody. He was gone before we can even get out there and get a picture of him. But so there's bobcats, hawks, mm. and um, buzzards. Buzzards, vultures. Vultures. But the hawks, you have to be careful Osprey. too. Osprey. Because hawks will snatch your little dog. If, if you have a little one. Little, yeah. Like a chihuahua or yorkie. Um, they will grab those those long talons because they're pretty big. Yeah, they're so, yeah. Size holes. And then we have the os the ospreys, which make nests, and they're the ones that you see the flat yes. nests and they yeah. have babies. The they look like poles, a, the light poles. They look like a bald eagle, but they're right. not. Right, yeah. right, right. So yeah. those we do see a bald eagle here or there. I've seen two. Have you? Mm -hmm. oh, here and there. That's cool. And yeah, That's there's cool. other there's other kind of wildlife too. So not a lot of spiders. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> that is a good thing. I guess with all these other kind of varmints around, we don't we don't have that many and lizards. The, oh, we have the lizards. lizards. So they're little lizards yep. they that are everywhere. You. They come out when it's warm. Yes. And they don't they don't bite. They don't bother you. They eat bugs, I guess. And yeah. they just they run everywhere. I've seen people that come down from up north that are afraid of them. Oh yeah, people get freaked out by the bugs here for sure. And I can totally understand because I don't like bugs personally. 
Um, crickets too. That's yeah. another one. You ever see them? Or oh, grasshopper, not a cricket. Oh, those giant it's grasshoppers. It's a gigantic yes. grasshopper. And I mean, they like they like swarm, and they'll be like all over these, <laughs> like that tree you have out front. <laughs> yeah. They they all of a sudden you walk by and you're like, oh, yeah. it, I mean, it's covered with this colorful, ugly <laughs> grasshopper. Yep. So. Wildlife in Florida is very interesting, entertaining. It's kind of cool. Like you said, we have a lot of cool things. The, yeah. the deer and, and the birds and things like that. Um, but if you're not used to it, for sure, it's a definite culture shock and something you will have to get used to. But again, there's ways around it. I mean, we use um, the the pesticides, the treatments, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. It's fine. Just, we enjoy it. We have some other videos if you want to learn more about our area, like things we love about Land Lakes, parks, our, our, and places, our, our parks favorite and things, yep, and our favorite things about Wesley Chapel. Right. So you should watch those videos. Yes. Definitely check those out. And we do have a relocation guide available. If you want to click the link below, you can get that on our website. And please don't forget to subscribe if you liked our video. And if you'd like to get other notifications of videos, please click on the bell and give us a thumbs up. Yeah, thanks, we'd appreciate it. Yes, so if you didn't know before, now you definitely know more. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. Cheers. <laughs>